I remember when I looked at my teacher and I looked at the student beside me, out of nowhere, this kid ends up saying, um, mom, I don't know the answer to that question. And at that moment, I looked at the kid thinking, wait, this is his mom? Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to another really embarrassing story. Now, this story all takes place back when I was in elementary school. So I was in grade four at this time, and I'm not gonna lie, I was just an innocent kid that only cared about playing video games, and on top of that, just doing my own thing. And I remember in my grade four year specifically, I always hated it because because it was so boring. We would always have to do simple things. And on top of that, we were learning a bit more aggressive math. If you guys don't know what I mean, I mean like long division. And I absolutely hated it. Until one day in my grade four year, out of nowhere, I ended up seeing this old man with his son come into my classroom right before class started. And I was looking at them, kind of curious of why they were here. And then out of nowhere, this old man says, oh, this is my uh, grandson. He's going to be uh, joining this class. And my teacher looks at the kid and says, oh, well, hi, welcome to the class classroom. Is this your first time in grade four? Now, this kid didn't say anything afterwards. He was not much for words. And honestly, he seemed like a really odd fellow. Like, you know that feeling when you first meet someone and they seem really awkward, but weird at the same time? That was him. And I remember I decided to basically just kind of be nice to him because I didn't want him to feel alone because I know how it feels to be left out. So I ended up basically putting up my hand and said, oh, like he can sit beside me if he wants because I had an open seat next to me because, well, like I said earlier, I knew how it felt to be the weird kid in school. And well, no one sat beside me, so I thought, why not have another weird kid sit beside me so we could both be weird together? Yeah, that sounds really depressing, but going on with the story, I remember this kid ends up smiling and he walks up next to me and sits beside me. And then out of nowhere, I remember me and him, we kind of got to know each other, but once again, he wasn't much for words. So I would say things to him like, oh, so do you play video games? Um, yeah, sometimes. Okay, cool. What, what do you play? Um, Mario. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Mario's cool. My mom likes Mario. To be honest, I was more of an expert. Xbox kid, but going on, honestly, me and him trying to get along was not getting any easier. Until one moment I remember, after school came around and basically, we all had to like wait for our parents to come pick us up because we weren't allowed to leave the school by ourselves back when we were in elementary school. And out of nowhere, I remember, I saw my mom picking me up, so I ran up to her, and as I ran up to her, I turned around and saw the kid that was the new kid in our class, and he looked really just sad. I don't know why, but I guess like having other parents around made him like really just upset for some reason. Reason. So I remember I walked up to him and said, Hey, like, is your mom picking you up? Um, no, I, I I don't, I don't, I don't think I have a mom. What do you mean you don't have a mom? Everyone has a mom, silly. Well, like, how do I know if I have a mom? Oh, well, like a mom's like someone that cares about you and like, you know, wants to raise you to be better. Oh, well, I don't know. And at that moment, I don't know where the old man that originally brought him to our school ended up coming and picked him up. Now this moment, I remember I felt kind of bad for him because he didn't even know what a mom was. But let's just say him not knowing what a mother was made things a lot weirder the next couple days in school because I remember the next day ends up happening and I ended up going to school with him and we ended up like hanging out and stuff and even at lunchtime me and him started hanging out even more and more and then he decides to ask me um Bubba I have a question yeah what's going on man well like you said a mom's someone that cares about you and takes care of you right uh yeah why what about it well there's just one person I feel like they could be my mom but I'm just not sure now at the time I didn't want to tell him the birds and the bees or how you know babies are actually made doing the devil's tango so I I decided to tell him, oh, well, like, you know, if it's your mom, just say hi, mom, and, you know, make sure she knows that she's your mother. Now, this was the worst advice I could ever give a kid in grade four, because what ends up happening next made things really, really bad, because I remember when we got back into class, and I remember we started doing, like, this, like, coloring book that we had to do in grade four. I don't know why. It was just some sort of, like, unit we had. I ended up seeing this kid needing to ask a question to the teacher, and he puts his hand up and says, mom, I have a question, and when he said mom, I remember I looked over at this kid thinking, wait, did you just call her mom? And I remember my teacher had the most blankest face ever and says, oh, um, what's your question? And I remember she tried to make it as like not awkward as possible. But I remember every girl in my class and even all the guys ended up looking at this kid as if he like was the weirdest kid to ever exist. Like who calls their teacher mom? Now, obviously at this moment, we thought he wouldn't do it again. And maybe he did it as a joke because obviously some kids started laughing afterwards kind of behind his back. So I decided to kind of look at him saying, yo, bro, I get the joke was funny, but like, why'd you call her mom? Well, you said that a person that cares about you is like, you know, a mom. Wait, what? I thought you were talking about like someone in your house. Oh no, I only have a grandpa and my dad. And at that moment, I started to realize that this kid, he didn't actually have a mom. He was looking for a mom. Like he was the main character in Finding Nemo, except this time he was finding mom. Like I felt really bad for him, obviously. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I didn't know what to tell him. I didn't want to say the teacher 
wasn't his mom, even though that was pretty obvious to everyone in the classroom and me. But at the same time, I ended up telling him, yo, man, listen, the teacher isn't your mom, okay? There's a lot more to moms than you think. And at that moment, when I said that, my teacher was right behind me saying, oh, Baba, I was hoping I could speak to you. Me? Yeah, I need to talk to you for a second. At that moment, I ended up getting up and I ended up basically going outside the hallway with the teacher. And the teacher ends up going on her knees saying, listen, Baba, your friend in the classroom, is there a reason why he called me mom? Oh, well, I mean, I just found out I don't think he has a mom, but I, I don't really know. Okay, well, you need to make sure that it's obvious that I'm not his mom, okay? I would tell him, but I don't want to hurt anything, nor do I want to start any trauma. Now, this teacher was kind of playing it smart, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, at this moment, like, I'm not a counselor in any way. I was just a grade four kid playing Call of Duty and playing on my Xbox all the time. Like, I wasn't any smarter than the next kid beside me, which was actually no one. Wow, that was actually depressing. But going on, I remember I go back into the classroom and I see this kid and I sit down beside him and say, yo, bro, you're gonna get me in trouble. Just don't call the teacher mom. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll try not to. What? You'll, you'll try not to? What do you mean? And he ends up ignoring me and not saying anything. In a way, I think I hurt his feelings after this moment, but I'm gonna be honest, bro. I just didn't want this weirdo calling the teacher mom, bro. So going on, I thought, you know, we were all good and everything was clear. He understood what was the assignment. But then afterwards, out of nowhere, the next day in school, we all sit down and everything and we all sit in a circle and we all like start talking about our weekends and we had like this thing called show and tell. I don't know if you guys know what show and tell is. Comment down below if you do. But basically, you're supposed to bring something from home and show it and tell it. And basically, I remember we all decided to bring a certain object. Me, I ended up bringing my PlayStation 2 because that was the first console I ever started playing ever. And I thought it was a cool piece of history to bring up because, well, my whole life was video games, basically, back when I was in grade four. And I guess to this day, it still is, thanks to you guys. But going on with the story, I remember as all of us were going in a circle, out of nowhere, I end up seeing this kid that was the weird kid in our class that called the teacher mom earlier. And he ends up bringing out a box. And when he opened it, it was a necklace that says mom on it. Now, we all looked at each other thinking, oh, like, was this from his mom that passed away, maybe? You know, like something really sad and traumatic? No, he ended up getting up and saying, um, I I have a question for the teacher. Yeah, what is it, sweetie? I got this for you. I was wondering if you would be my mom. At that moment, all of us in the class just started looking at each other thinking, what in the world is this kid saying? And we all ended up basically like kind of pausing and my teacher's face went like ghost white. Like she did not know what to say. She was worried. She was terrified. So her only reaction that she ended up doing was, okay, well, I'm gonna have to quickly leave. And this teacher ended up actually leaving the classroom and like 10 minutes later, the counselor ends up walking into our classroom and ends up getting the kid and walking him out. At this moment, I was really worried that I was going to get involved. And sadly, I was because not even like five seconds later, the counselor ends up calling on the announcements. <laughs> Baba, can you please come down to the counselor's office? Thank you. At that moment, I knew that this kid ended up telling something about me in that office, and I ended up basically standing up, going down to the counselor's office, which I've never been to, by the way. And, well, I ended up getting sat down, and me and him had to ex explain how he got to the situation of thinking his mom was the teacher. Yeah, it was a really weird thing, and honestly, if you guys have ever called your teacher mom, then comment down below. But I know I haven't, because I'm not a weirdo. But just fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.